Victoria, it's an honour and a privilege to be your dad, to walk you down the aisle today and to support you in the next stage of your life. Every time I've been an expectant father, I get two compulsions. The first one was a dream. And in this dream, I was given this, this ball of energy. And I was told that this, the most priceless thing in the universe, and it shone more brightly than anything I'd ever seen. And this voice says to me, take this, Nurture it with all the love and care you possibly can. Six years ago, I started a new job. I was very excited. I moved to a new city. I wanted to dedicate all my energy to this job and deliver the best performance. In Switzerland, it's very common to introduce yourself to all your co-workers the first day. Since that day I met her, she hasn't left my mind. Date. Oh, sorry, first not date. Uh, you fell head over heels for me. He literally fell flat on his face down the car park, which was really amusing. Uh, but please know that the feeling was mutual from day one, like you said. You should know that no matter how good or bad times will be, I'll always be there for you. And I promise to keep the adventure alive and do everything that I can to make this marriage the most beautiful journey together. A very warm welcome to all the guests and especially to the two of you, to the bride and groom. We are really very happy that you've decided to come to Slovenia, to the Castle of Bled, to get married. We all know that the most beautiful and the best things in this world cannot be seen or touched, but they are felt in our hearts. And what comes from the heart reaches the heart. Randy Alexander Talmagar, are you willing to enter marriage with the here present bride, Victoria Elizabeth Banazak? Yes. And I ask the bride, Victoria Elizabeth Banazak, are you willing to enter marriage with the here present groom, Randy Alexander Talmagar? Yes. You've probably kissed for numerous times, but let's make another real kiss as a husband and wife. She was also new in the city of Souk and has started also in the company a few months earlier. So we started exploring every corner of the city together. We told us stories, we tried to change the world, but the most important thing was that we were together. 
One day, we were leaving a pub called Mantra. We stopped at the bus station and suddenly we kissed. It was a unique moment that I only felt love. I didn't want it to end. From there, I knew that she also felt the same and we embarked in our fabulous journey. For the last 40 odd years, I've had, I've, well, I've been the um, keeper of these three fantastic, priceless bundles of energy. And I call them my children. They're Danielle, Stefan and Victoria. Yeah. <laughs> 